I was recently made aware that Asus wants to get more serious about serving businesses, so it has released the Expert Wi-Fi series, and I bought one of their Wi-Fi 6 access points, the EBR63. Inside the box, there's the warranty card, the user manual, and other printed stuff. And we also get a power connector with an adjustable head. The device itself is very light and it comes with its four antennas fully folded. No, they are not removable. Most access points manufacturers went with inner antennas, so it's interesting to see that Asus has released a version with the antennas poking out. I saw that there is a built-in stand to help the EBR63 to sit upwards, but it feels very fragile and it seems that it can easily break if I apply some mild force to it. Good luck getting that repaired under warranty. There are two holes for wall mounting, so I would use those for the device's longevity's sake. Now let's get started with the teardown process. There are clearly two screws underneath the two silicon feet, and after removing them I could confirm that they are indeed positioned there. But I also saw a warranty seal to scare the user from going any further. I do need to see what's inside the case, so I had to get that screw out. I then checked to see if there are any other screws and it seems that these were the only two. I did slightly scratch the plastic near the label, so I'm going to assume that the warranty is gone anyway, considering the way Asus has treated its customers lately. Then I used a prying tool to detach the bottom part and we can see a metallic plate attached to it. We do get a good look at the bottom part of the PCB and, since it's not held by any screws, it is possible to easily remove it by lightly pushing on the two plastic hinges. Just be careful with the antenna cables because these remain attached to the board. We do need to detach them and thankfully Asus used connectors and didn't solder them to the board. This means that the top part can be removed as well, but I was curious about what was hidden underneath the aluminum cover on the bottom of the PCB. Turns out that it was nothing of interest to us. But I could identify one main chipset, the storage one from Winbond. We do need to remove the upper heat spreader and to do that we need to remove the four screws from the bottom of the board. The metallic heat spreader should pop off easily and give us a good view of the top part of the PCB. The two metallic covers need to be removed as well and we finally can see the rest of the main components. It doesn't seem like we're dealing with a very complicated device, so I am very curious to see how well it will perform. I will, of course, put it to the usual set of tests, so stick around if you want to see more of this device. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.